Hi, my name's Nick Smallwood and I'm a consultant in acute medicine. In this video, we're going to be taking you through the practical aspects of the thoracic ultrasound examination. And for this, I'll be using a curvilinear probe. So for this examination, we're going to hold the probe in a longitudinal plane with the dot pointing up towards the patient's head. And you'll see that I'm going to fix my scanning hand to the patient's torso to mean that I don't get any movement of the probe. And the first position we're looking for is the upper anterior chest wall. And you can see here we've got two ribs which are casting a shadow, the pleural line beneath the ribs in between, and you can see that sliding with respiration. This appearance of two ribs with rib space in between and a visible pleural line just below is the starting point for chest examination at any of the six lung zones. The next thing we're going to do is put M mode through the pleural line to demonstrate the seashore sign. And you can see here as Sammy takes some good breaths in and out, you've got the pleural line, which is the brightest reflection, with the waves landing on the beach above it and the sandy beach below, the seashore sign. And as our model stops breathing, we can see this become the so-called barcode or stratosphere sign where the sand on the beach below is replaced with horizontal lines. And in this example, we can also see the vertical T lines, which represent the lung pulse, meaning that our model does in fact have expanded lungs, but has just stopped breathing to generate a pseudo barcode sign. So as we return to B mode imaging, we assess for lung sliding, the presence of A lines, and also look for the presence of B lines, of which we don't have any B lines here. And then so we move to the other three anterior lung zones, which is on the opposite side of the chest. And you'll notice the picture generated is almost identical. And then the lower anterior lung zones. Again, very similar images generated. And then we move down to the lung bases for the final part of the thoracic examination. So as we move to the lung base, we keep the probe in the longitudinal position and we're looking for the posterior lateral point on the chest wall, which is highlighted here. And in this scenario, we get an image similar to what's generated on the screen, which is to say you can see the ribs casting a shadow again. You can see the pleural line coming in from the left. But now in the centre and the right of the picture, you can see on this side the liver with the base of the diaphragm just at the bottom of the picture. And as our model takes some good breaths in, it demonstrates the curtain sign, which is to say that aerated lung comes across the screen from left to right and it almost wipes away the liver, which represents normal aerated lung at the lung base. The other things that we can see in this image just at the moment are the spine coming in at the bottom of the picture. And also when our model breathes out, you can see the kidney coming in from the bottom right hand side. So the primary abnormalities we're looking for at the base of the lung are the presence of pleural fluid, which would be a initially triangular anechoic area towards the top of the image. And so finally, we can see a demonstration of the mirror artifact here, which is generated from the base of the diaphragm as our model breathes out in particular. And so I will complete my examination by scanning the same point on the left hand side where the image will be very similar, except the liver will be replaced with a slightly smaller looking spleen. And that would then complete the six point lung examination.